House Bill 3375, relating to floating offshore wind energy and prescribing an effective date. Question now rises upon third reading and final passage of House Bill 3375A. Representative Brock Smith. Madam Speaker, colleagues, um, I'm excited to bring you House Bill 3375. I think this is potentially one of the other great bills of this session. Uh, House Bill 3375 is going to set up a planning with the Oregon Department of Energy to look at uh, working with BOEM and other federal agencies on uh, three gigawatts of offshore wind by 2030. Colleagues, as, as being part of the, um, the Environmental and Energy Committee since uh, becoming a member of this legislative body, I uh, can't tell you how enthusiastic I am about the possibility of moving forward not only with this offshore wind opportunities and the investments that are coming from the federal governments under the Biden administration, but the opportunity to possibly power from that offshore wind a renewable hydrogen facility uh, in, the, in the port of Coos Bay. And at that point, be having the state of Oregon being an energy exporter rather than an energy importer. So this idea transcends other legislation that we have in this body. Uh, but the planning needs to start now. Senator Beyer has Senate Bill 333 that looks at uh, planning for those hydrogen facilities. The president has said he wants to see 50 of those renewable hydrogen facilities around the nation, and we have a great opportunity to actually fund renewable hydrogen, <clears throat> or excuse me, fund renewable hydrogen from, with federal help, but power it with other renewable energy. And everyone's... Uh, some people have asked, uh, well, Representative, why are you bringing this bill forward? Well, A, I've always believed in, in uh, renewables and how we can access their energy to as long as it's affordable for our residents. But more importantly, in this instance, that wind resource that we have off of Oregon is off of my district. And so the fishers that are going to be impacted by this process, I've been in dialogue with through this process and will continue to be in collaboration with them as we move forward with this process. So colleagues, this is an exciting opportunity for Oregon to get in front of the planning that's necessary to have this resource. And uh, I would appreciate your I vote. Thank you.